Hello everyone, my name is Ram Gopal and I am here with my teammate Nikhil Sampath. We are currently pursuing our bachelor's degree in chemical engineering at Sastra Demak Tubi University, Tanjavur. This is as part of learning for the course CHC 203 Chemical Engineering Thermodynamics 2, guided by Dr. P. R. Narayan. The main objective of the video is to show the simulation of an equilibrium reactor using DWSIM software. Simulating an equilibrium reactor in DWSIM involves creating a virtual model of a reactor where chemical reactions are assumed to reach equilibrium. The software calculates the final composition of reactants and products based on thermodynamic properties without accounting for reaction kinetics. By setting up parameters like temperature, pressure, and feed composition, DWSIM predicts how the substances will behave in the reactor, helping engineers optimize conditions for maximum yield and efficiency. Now, I am using DWSIM version 8.8.1 in Windows 11 operating system. The problem statement given to us involves the reaction of water gas shift reaction. It is as follows. CO gas plus H2O gas gives rise to CO2 gas plus H2 gas. The inlet stream conditions of the reaction that's going to occur in the equilibrium reactor are given. It's given as mass flow rate of 3600 kg per hour, temperature at 25 degrees Celsius, pressure at 1.01325 bar. The feed compositions were also given in terms of mole fraction. The mole fraction of CO is 0.5. H2O is 0.5, H2 is 0, CO2 is 0. The thermodynamic package that we are going to account in the equilibrium reactor is Raoult's law. The reaction temperature is given as 225 degrees Celsius. To demonstrate the simulation of an equilibrium reactor in DWC. Now let's open WSM software. This has been previously installed in my system. Now I am opening it. After opening this, you can see a page like this. Now go to the file option. You can create a new chemical process model by clicking on the new chemical process model. A new blank page will be displayed like this. Next, you should select the compounds that are involved in the chemical reaction given in the problem statement are Reaction is water gas shift reaction. The compounds involved in this are carbon monoxide, water, select water, carbon dioxide, select carbon dioxide, hydrogen, select hydrogen. After selecting all the compounds that are involved in the chemical reaction, click on next. Then you should select the thermodynamic law that should be applied in the equilibrium reactor. In the problem statement, it is given as Raoult's law. So double click on Raoult's law. Then you can see that it's been displayed in the right hand side of this added property packages. Then click on next. You should select the system of units as per the problem statement. We will choose custom 5. In this system of units, the temperature is in degree Celsius, pressure is in bar, mass flow rate is in kg per hour, molar flow rate is in kilomole per hour. Everything is as per our requirement. So click on next. You can again click on next. If you want to undo or redo the operations in, in between the simulation process, you can enable this. If you don't want, you can disable this in the behavior panel. Now finish this step. Now let's include the material stream by dragging it into the blank page. If you click on the material stream, the properties of the material stream will be displayed. Now we will rename it as inlet stream. When you click enter, the changes will be applied to the stream. The property package is Raoult's law which has been previously selected and the flash specialization is temperature and pressure, keep it as it is. The temperature 
that's given in the problem is 25 degrees Celsius and the pressure given is 1.01325 bar and the mass flow rate given is 3600 kg per hour. After giving the inlet stream conditions, now we are able we are about to give the compound amount amounts. Carbon monoxide is of composition 0 0.5. Water is of composition 0 0.5. Carbon dioxide is of 0% composition. Hydrogen is of 0. These compositions are based on mole fractions. So you need to select as mole fractions before itself. 0 0.5. 0 0.5 0 and 0 now click on accept changes this inlet stream conditions will be accepted by the simulator my teammate Nikhil will explain the process of defining equilibrium reaction and inserting the equilibrium reactor in the flow sheet ok Ram Gopal before inserting equilibrium reactor into the process flow sheet First, we have to define equilibrium conditions. To start with, let us click on edit section. Go to simulation settings. Now click on the reactions. Here we have to add our chemical reaction. Since we are using equilibrium reactor, we have to select equilibrium here. Now we have to define the name of the reaction. It is water gas shift reaction. And now in the description, we have to describe like what are the reactants and what are the products, how the reaction is going on. Here, carbon monoxide and water vapor together reacts to form carbon dioxide and hydrogen. Now we have to include all these four components that are involved in our reaction and now we have to fix a base component. Let us fix our base component as carbon monoxide. Now we have to define stoichiometric coefficients. Minus 1 for carbon monoxide and water since they are on the reactant side and 1 for the carbon dioxide and hydrogen since they are on the product side. Now click on the balance option here to check whether it is correct or not as it is showing ok here everything is fine with our reaction. Now in equilibrium reaction parameters we have to make a slight change let us remain the fugacity as the basis and we have to change vapor phase here and now we will calculate equilibrium constant by using Gibbs energy of reaction. Click on OK. Close this tab. Now it's time to insert our equilibrium reactor into the process flow sheet. Go to the reactors. Select equilibrium reactor. Drag to the space that is provided here. And now this software automatically simulates the flow sheet which will connect to the inlet stream by the following outlet streams. Now we have to rename the equipment. Let us rename this part as equilibrium reactor. And stream, let us rename as vapor product. And the stream for let us rename it as liquid product and finally let us rename this event stream as energy
if we have any changes in the connected streams we can change manually by using these four options that are provided here now coming to calculation parameters since the outlet temperature has been specified in the given problem statement as 225 we will consider the same here now click on enter now at the bottom of left corner we can see that the flow sheet was calculated successfully we can also observe this by another by another chain like before the flow sheet was in red color and now the total flow sheet has converted into blue which means the process flow sheet has been calculated successfully without any errors now let us check the conversions by checking the results tab here like 92 percent of carbon monoxide and the same 92 percent of water have been converted to form carbon dioxide and hydrogen to indicate all the properties of the streams that are connected to the equilibrium reactor we can insert master property table go to insert and click on master property table double click to edit in object we have to select all inlet inlet stream vapor product and liquid product here we can rename it as stream wise properties of equilibrium reactor In properties, we have to select temperature, pressure, mass flow rate, and molar flow rate. And we have to consider molar flow rates of mixtures too. We have to select molar flow rates for mixtures of all the reactants involved. Same as molar flow rates, we have to consider mass flow rates of all the mixtures that are being involved in the reaction. Click on enter, close this tab, we can see that all the results and properties were nicely tabulated. To mention the conversions calculated by the simulator, let's insert a property table. Click on the insert, click on the property table. Now double click on this to edit, select equilibrium reactor here. Now we have to opt for the conversion of carbon monoxide. So we will select this one. Now we can clearly see that the conversion of carbon monoxide is 92.2%. This was nearly equal to the manual conversion calculated using the Van Dorff's equation which is 91.8%. And now to calculate the equilibrium constant values, click on edit session, go to the simulation settings, click over here. Now you can see here the value of del H naught R and the value of del G naught R here. By using these two values, if we calculate K equilibrium, we will get the value around 131.9 and the value that is calculated manually using the Van Dorff equation is 126.9. This value was so close to each other. Hence, this is the demonstration of using DWSIM for simulation of equilibrium reactor with single reaction. The video reference is taken from the spoken tutorial. IIT Bombay YouTube channel.